Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Michael Kahlo of Old Line. Hello, this is Pastor Mike Kahlo from Shoreline Church in Old Line, Connecticut. Today we'll be speaking about joy and peace from the fruit of the Spirit. If you ask most people about joy, they'll most likely respond with something like, Well, joy is feeling happy and lighthearted, like everything is going to be all right. And at first glance, I'd agree with that. But after being in Christ nearly 40 years, I've found that there is so much more to joy. We know that joy is the fruit of the Spirit, but fruit requires work. Pruning, caring for the tree, watering it. Well, in life, joy is no different. First, let's get this straight. Joy is and is not a feeling. That's right. It is the result of an emotion, and emotions are a result of circumstances that happen in life. They could be good or bad emotions that arise from any given circumstance. But here in Galatians, talking about the fruit of the Spirit, this kind of joy is something much deeper. And emotions are so much stronger than feelings. This joy is a direct result of being in a right relationship with God the Father. It's not something we can create through our own efforts. And get this, this joy is even present with us in the midst of sorrow or while enduring trials or struggling through persecutions. God is the originator of joy. All joy comes from Him. And this type of joy is a unique identifying mark on the Christian, something that even the lost can see in us. Joy is not an emotion. It is a gift from God, a portion of His character that is imparted to us as His child. And joy leads to emotions and feelings, but the source is God Himself. I meet, as I'm sure you do, many people who are lacking joy, even Christians living with miserable sour pusses. This grieves the Holy Spirit. Our God has given us His Holy Spirit so we can be Christ-like, filled with joy and hope. So how do we obtain this joy? Just like other promise in Scripture, we obtain this joy by faith, faith in a God that is the abundant supplier of joy. Once we know that it is God orchestrating our life so that we can come through on the other side, it should give us a sense of peace that strengthens and holds us, even in the midst of trials and tribulations. We can know that our loving Heavenly Father is doing something specific in our lives and that He is doing what is best for us. Having faith in Him will lead to a sense of peace and peace gives us joy. Romans 15, 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of his Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. Hope and peace are foundational. The third fruit of the Spirit is peace, and the word peace appears over 400 times in the Bible, which is why the phrase peace be with you is so important in Scripture. One of the strongest human desires is for peace, whether it's peace between nations or peace between people. Peace is listed in the top three characteristics of the fruit of the Spirit. Because without love and joy and peace, the rest of the fruits are not possible. God's perfect peace is an amazing gift that is hard to understand. Yet God makes a way for us to live in that perfect peace. If you're having anxiety, take a moment. Sit and be still. The peace that can comfort you during this time comes from the Holy Spirit himself. Having peace doesn't mean that you'll not have conflict or stress or difficult times. But peace is knowing that our God is in control. This is Pastor Mike Caleb. You've been listening to Pastor Michael Kalo of Old Line, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.